Time now to talk boxing and Paul Upham is here. Paul, future Hall of Famer Manny Pacquiao, he's up against undefeated Chris Algieri in Macau. Uh, that's tomorrow. Algieri's coming off a career-defining fight. That was impressive. What do you make of him and is he out of his depth against Pacquiao? Well, Algieri's a very impressive fighter. He is 30 years of age, but he's actually had a lot more experience. He's 20-0 as a professional boxer, but he's also 20-0, no losses as a kickboxer. He was a world champion. He turned to boxing at 24 and he's very, very tall. He's got a huge height and reach advantage against Manny Pacquiao. He's a very dangerous opponent. And Manny Pacquiao has always got so many things swirling around on in his life. He's still a congressman in the Filipino uh, parliament. Uh, plus everything else he does, he's playing semi-pro basketball, he's coaching a team, plus all these other things that he has happening. And you often wonder, if Pacquiao's not 100% focused, and Algeria is, is this the fight where Pacquiao's going to get knocked over? Yeah, it's so intriguing to think about it. Pacquiao, eight-division world champion, ten-time world champion. He's 35 years old. He hasn't had a knockout since 2009. Are we seeing a gradual decline in Manny Pacquiao? You may say that at the age of 35, but I think also you've got to remember, he started as a flyweight at 18 and he's progressed, he's moved up. He's been a world champion in eight world, uh, weight classes, which is unheard of. No one's ever done that before. So maybe he's fighting guys who are a bit bigger and you'll see that because Ojiri is so much taller than Pacquiao. But look, he's still got that wonderful hand speed and he is the most exciting boxer in the world today. If you ever want to see a boxing match for the first time, you always watch Manny Pacquiao because things are always happening. But the big storyline, of course, is... Is the fight with Floyd Mayweather ever going to happen? It's been five or six years. We've been waiting for Pacquiao versus Mayweather. They are pound for pound number one and two. Mayweather undefeated. Yes, we'll give him. He is the pound for pound number one. But Pacquiao is number two, the two best fighters. And it's just been so disappointing we haven't seen him in the ring. And so with Pacquiao, if Pacquiao loses this fight tomorrow, Mayweather's pretty much off, isn't it? If he wins, are we any chance of seeing it? I know there's so many political issues with it and, you know, within the boxing world. Is it, is it actually going to happen? Look, they tried to make the fight twice in 2010 and there was a number of reasons. There was blood testing and drug testing that they couldn't agree on. There was money and, of course, there's a lot of ego as well involved. Both guys want to get the biggest slice of the pie. But I think the television networks are realising people want to see Mayweather versus Pacquiao. You're right, if Pacquiao loses tomorrow, that's it. There's no Mayweather super fight, but it is the fight out there. And, look, hopefully Manny's focused on Algeria because if he's thinking about Mayweather and not, and not thinking about Algeria, he could lose. But... That's why everyone wants to see Pacquiao. He's so exciting and he, and he wins. And you mentioned um, the height advantage Algeria has. We know how quick Pacquiao is with his hands. Is Algeria dreaming to be able to, to really match up with Pacquiao? People always say, and I remember uh, Vince uh, Vernon Forrest used to say about Sugar Shea Mosley, you beat speed with a great jab and a great reach. And Algeria's got a great jab. He keep Pacquiao on the end of that jab. But... Pacquiao's so fast. I, don't, I just think he gets on the inside so quickly and he's going to cause him a lot of problems. But, but that's why we watch the fights, to see how it's going to turn out. But at 35, there's that question mark on Pacquiao. Yeah, there is, definitely. OK, we'll leave that one for the moment. Now, Carly Meehan faces New Zealand's Shane Cameron in the Super 8s tonight. Can he continue his dream run? Look, in his 40s, he's had an amazing run and he's looking for another big wing. That's Shane Cameron is the, the heavyweight star of, of um, New Zealand and they're going to fight tonight in a big fight. And it's also a cruiserweight tournament. Eight fighters fight on the one night. And the David Alua from, from Australia, who's been very impressive, is in that tournament. And look, Carly Amin, he's, he's tall, he's got that huge reach and it's a big super fight over there in New Zealand and that's starting four o'clock tonight, live from New Zealand on main event television. Yeah, so much boxing to look forward to. Paul Up and thanks so much for coming in as always. Thanks, Louise.